A History of the Modern World is a work initially published by the distinguished American historian at Princeton and Yale University's Robert Roswell Palmer in 1950. The work has since been extended by Joel Colton from its second edition, 1956, and Lloyd S. Kramer from its ninth edition, 2001, and currently, as of October 2017, counts 13 editions. First published in 1950, translated into six languages, is used in more than 1,000 colleges and universities as well as many high school advanced placement courses. The second edition 1956, comprises two volumes, 20 main chapters, and 110 sub chapters. The author focuses on world history from a European perspective, and the newer editions also exists under the title, A History of Europe in the Modern World. Topic: <laughs> Content Second Edition. Content of the second edition, note, Swedish translation re-translated. Although this double translation may differ in some words or formulations, from the American English original, this illustrates the content and structure of R. R. Palmer's work. First book The Ancient Greece to 1848 Chapter 1 Birth of Europe 1. Ancient Greece, Rome and Christianity, p. 3 2. Early Middle Ages, Forming of Europe, p. 10 3. High Middle Ages, Profane Culture, p. 18 4. High Middle Ages, The Church, p. 29 Chapter 2 The Upheaval Within the Christian Church 1300–15605. Decay of the Church, p. 39 6. The Renaissance in Italy, p. 44 7. The Renaissance Outside Italy, p. 52 8. The New Monarchies, p. 54 9. Protestantism, p. 60 10. Catholic Reformation and Restructure, p. 73 Chapter 3 The Religious Wars 1560–164811 Opening of the Atlantic Ocean, p. 81 12. The Commercial Revolution, p. 85 13. The Spanish Inquisition, the Dutch and the English, p. 95 14. France's Decomposition and Reconstruction, p. 104 15. The Thirty Year War, Germany's Decay, p. 111. Chapter 4 Western Europe in Leadership Position 16. The Great Monarch and the Balance in Europe, p. 121. 17. The Dutch Republic, p. 124. 18. England, the Puritan Republic, p. 129 19. England, the Triumph of the Parliament, p. 136 20. Louis XIV's France 1643–1715, the Triumph of Absolutism, p. 142 21. Louis XIV's War, Treaty of Utrecht, p. 152 Chapter 5 Transformation of Eastern Europe 1648–174022. Three Aging Values, p. 159 23 
A Rising of the Austrian Monarchy, p. 170 24 Origin of Prussia, p. 175 25 Russia's Transforming into Western Values, p. 175 26 Poland's Divisions, p. 195 Chapter 6 The Struggle for Wealth and Power 27. The World's Housekeeping During the 18th Century, p. 200 28 Western Europe After Utrecht, p. 209 29 The Big War in the Middle of the 18th Century, p. 219 Chapter 7 The Scientific Perspective of the World 30. The Prophets of Scientific Culture, Bacon and Descartes, p. 234 31. The Road to Newton, Law of Gravitation, p. 239 32. Expanded Knowledge of the Human Being and Society, p. 247 33. Political Theory, The Natural Law School, p. 254 Chapter 8 Age of Enlightenment 34. The Philosophers, p. 261 35. Enlightened Despotism, France, Austria, Prussia, p. 272 36. Enlightened Despotism, Russia, p. 282 37. The American Revolution, p. 289 Chapter 9 The French Revolution 38. Preconditions, p. 303 39. The Revolution 1789, p. 307 40. The French Unity, p. 315 41. The Revolution and Europe, the War and the Second Revolution 1792, p. 320 42. The French Remodeling of Society, p. 315 43. Republican Crisis 1792–95, Reign of Terror, p. 325 44. The Despotic Republic 1799–1804, p. 337 Chapter 10 The Napoleonic Europe 45. The Creation of the French Empire, p. 345 46. The Large Empire, The Propagation of the Revolution, p. 354 47. The Continental System, Britain and Europe, p. 359 48. The National Movements, Germany, p. 364 49. Napoleon defeated, the Vienna Congress, p. 372 Chapter 11 Reaction vs. Progress 1815-184850. The Industrial Revolution, p. 384 51. Origin of the New Ideologies, p. 391 52. The Dam of the River, Domestic Politics, p. 403 53. The Breakthrough of Liberalism in the West, The Revolutions 1830–32, p. 413 54. The Triumph of Western Bourgeois, p. 423 Topic Second Book 
The 1848 revolutions to the Second World War and its aftermath Chapter 12 1848, An Interrupted Revolution 56, Paris, The Ghost of Western Social Revolutions, p. 2 57, Vienna, The National Revolution in Central Europe, p. 9 58, Frankfurt and Berlin, The Question of a Liberal Europe, p. 17 59, The Consequences of the 1848 Revolutions, The Hard Objectivity, p. 24 60, Birth of Marxism, p. 27 61, Bonapartism, The Second French Empire 1852–70, p. 33 Chapter 13 Consolidation of the Large Countries 62, Background, The Idea of National States, p. 39 63, Cavour and the Italian War 1859, Italy's Unification, p. 42 64, Bismarck, The Foundation of the German Empire, p. 47 65, The Double Monarchy Austria-Hungary, p. 56 66, Liberalization of Tsar Russia, Alexander II, p. 60 67, United States, The Civil War, p. 65 68, Dominion Canada 1867, p. 71 69, Japan vs. the West, p. 74 Chapter 14 The European Civilization 1871–191470, The Civilized World, p. 82 71, Demographic Basics, The Growth of the European Population, p. 84 72, The World's Housekeeping During the 19th Century, p. 92 73, Democracy's Progress, Third French Republic, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, German Empire, p. 100 74, Democracy's Progress, Socialism and Workers' Unions, p. 112 75, Science, Philosophy and Religion, p. 119 76, The Extinction of Classic Liberalism, p. 129 Chapter 15 The European World Domination 77, Imperialism, Its Nature and Reasons, p. 137 78, America, p. 144 79, The Dissolution of the Ottoman Empire, p. 149 80, Africa's Division, p. 157 81, Imperialism in Asia, the Dutch, the British and the Russians, p. 164 82, Imperialism in Asia, China and the West, p. 168 83, The Russian-Japanese War, p. 172 Chapter 16 World War 184, The International Anarchy, p. 175 85, The Battle of Marne and the New Countenance of the War, p. 184 86, Stalemate 1915–1916, The Navy, The Army, Diplomacy, p. 186 87, The Russian Collapse and the United States Intervention, p. 194 88, The Collapse of the Austrian and German Empires, p. 200 89, The War's Economical and Social Effects, p. 202 90, The Peace in Paris 1919, p. 206 Chapter 17 The Russian Revolution 91, Background, p. 
216 92 the 1905 revolution p 224 93 the 1917 revolution p 229 94 the union of the socialist soviet republics p 237 95 stalin the five year plans and the cleansings p 244 96 – The International Effects of Communism, p. 254 Chapter 18 – The Apparent Victory of Democracy 97 – Democracy's Advancement and the New Deal, p. 260 98 – The German Republic and the Spirit of Locarno, p. 265 99 – Asia's Revolt, p. 272 100 – The Great Depression, Collapse of the World's Housekeeping, p. 284 Chapter 19 – Democracy and Dictatorship 101 – The United States, Depression and the New Deal, p. 292 102 – Stress and Adaptation for the British and French Democracies, p. 297 103 – Totalitarianism, the Italian Fascism, p. 306 104 – Totalitarianism, Germany's Third Reich, p. 311 105 – Weakness of the West, Against a New War, p. 323 Chapter 20 – The Earthquake, the Second World War and its Aftermath 106 – The Axis Powers Triumphs, p. 333 107 – The Western Powers and Soviet Union's Victories, p. 341 108 – Restructure and Revolution in Europe and Asia after the war, p. 349 109 – The Democracies after 1945, p. 358 110 – Two Worlds at Conflict, p. 368 Criticism Topic ISBN of later editions Tenth and thirteenth edition ISBN nine seven eight O three seven five four one three nine eight eight